of nationally celebrated poet, passionate storyteller, dedicated academic, and literary trailblazer. You are the only poet to have earned the highest honors in both the arts and humanities, the National Medal of Arts, which was bestowed upon you by President Barack Obama in 2011, and, and, and the National Humanities Medal in 1996 from President Bill Clinton. You have achieved, you have achieved countless literary and academic honors in 1987, you were awarded a Pulitzer Prize in poetry for Thomas and Beulah, a collection of poems based on your grandparents' lives. And in 1993, you were appointed Poet Laureate of the United States, the youngest person and the first African American to receive this highest official honor in the very Your gifted use of language transcends any one medium. In addition to your extensive poetry collections, which include American Smooth and Sonata Melodica, you have written a book of short stories, Fifth Sunday, and a novel, Through the Ivory Gate. Your play, The Darker Face of the Earth, had its world premiere at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival in 1996 and was produced at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. and on many other stages. Seven for Luck, a song cycle you wrote for soprano and orchestra with music by John Williams, premiered with the Boston Symphony Orchestra in 1998. At the White House's 1999-2000 New Year's Gala celebration, you contributed in a live reading at the Lincoln Memorial a poem to Steven Spielberg's documentary, The Unfinished Journey. You edited the anthology, The Best American Poetry 2000, and in 2011, you published the Penguin Anthology of 20th Century American Poetry. You are advising editor to many literary periodicals, including Emerson College's Plowshares. You have served as president of the Association of Writers and Writing Programs. served as president of the Association of Writers and Writing Programs and chancellor of the American Academy of Poets, and you are an active member of several literary and cultural associations. You have been a faculty member at the University of Virginia since 1989, where you are a Commonwealth Professor of English. In recognition of achievements and contributions to the performing and creative arts, President Pelton, it is my honor to present you with Rita Dove, as a candidate for an honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters degree at Emerson College. Read it up. By the virtue of the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Board of Trustees of Emerson College, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree Doctor of Humane Letters, which you have so justly earned, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto, and welcome you warmly to the distinguished company of Emerson Alumni. welcoming me into your community and I just want to say this is one of the most incredible institutions that I've ever visited. Remember, your voice is yours. No one else can sing your song. Go out there and just rip it up. Thank you. <laughs>